Those rural schools are now figuring out just what these proposals will mean to them. At least one local superintendent says it's only a start. New at 6 tonight, our political reporter Jess Garp tells us what this could mean to schools in our area. Jess? Well, rural schools have been telling anyone who would listen that they have unique challenges from how far they have to bus their students to simply getting schoolwork done with spotty internet. These proposals aim to address that. And pressure is force over acceleration. The experiments at Fenimore High School are hands-on, but still a lot of work needs to happen for students online. A few of my classes are like completely on the computer, like my English class. Senior Caitlin Winker says her home internet connects to her school-provided Chromebook, but living in the country, her connection is simply unreliable. It's really hard to load stuff. Sometimes I can't even like type on Google Docs. One time I typed a paper and then it told me it didn't save. <laughs> That's why Governor Walker says he'll propose grants for schools to provide hotspots to students as well as broadband expansion as part of an increased initiative in rural schools. This is a great start to recognize um, what we need in rural uh, Wisconsin, but it just, just has to be a start. Superintendent Jamie Nutter says his district will benefit from an expansion in sparsity aid for rural districts, but he says that alone isn't enough to meet student needs. But when we have uh, a $4 billion budget in education, um, and that is needed to try to meet these demands, um, and then we're talking less than $100 million in rural initiatives, um, that's just a, that's a great start. Um, he's definitely uh, definitely understands the issues, um, but we need we need uh, revenue cap relief with the aid uh, to help support that. Winkers is more focused on her own schoolwork and what better internet would mean. It'd be very helpful. I could go home after school and like sit at my house and do my homework instead of staying here. Now, these ideas will all be a part of Governor Walker's budget that he will present next week and that then the legislator, legislature will consider after that. The governor said today that he will announce the full amount of school funding he intends to put in his budget this weekend. We'll keep an eye on it right up to his address. Jess, thank you very much.